Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, on some level, I don't understand what was the point of Bill and Taylor going to the prison to talk to Sheila. You know, I don't, I don't get that point. I mean, I noticed that they're talking about closure and everything like that, but I felt like this was just a way to, for them to shoehorn in Sheila because of a contract. Because let's be honest, when she, you know, even in the beginning, all they sit there and sold her with scenes of her and Deacon and her, betray, you know, Deacon betraying her, but also the romance and everything like that. So when Bill was like, oh yeah, I tracked you down because I want you to come with me to the prison so this way you can get closure. It's like, what? <laughs> what, what? What was the point of that? I just, I don't, I don't get it. She's in jail. Like, was, was. Seriously, this is the best. This is the best way that they saw it on this episode to use these the, the time of these actors to sit there and have them do a scene like this where it just seemed completely and utterly pointless. I mean, yesterday's episode, well, what was that like the nine thousand something episode, and all it was was Steffi's birthday. I mean, with that episode, it's like unless you were a Steffi fan, did you really need to see it? Did you did you did you really need to see it? But you know, Katie's not there cozying up with Carter. But even before Carter got into the room, she's still not there thinking about the kids with her and Bill. And of course, you know, Bill walks into the room and Bill's like, you know, listen, I want to sit there and get back together with you. I want us to make this work and yada yada yada. I'm like, bro. Since day one, I've been watching this show. Day one, I've been watching this show. The first, ep the first among the, among the first few episodes I started watching, this was a scene of Bill getting together with the Logan girls, um, Brooke and Donna, about how to get Katie back. Bro, that was about two and a half years ago, give or take. What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? I don't even understand why they're even snit there. Why are they even snit there having, you know, participate in this whole Bill still snit there trying to get Katie back? It's like, if this happened like maybe six months after, okay, fine. But it's been two years. Now, it's almost kind of a running joke at this point, but within those two something years that this this whole thing happened, Katie, for the first time, actually, you know, kissed Bill and everything. So you're sitting there telling me after two something years, now they're sitting there thinking, you know, what, maybe we should maybe we should sit there and revisit this whole Katie and Bill thing. Maybe we should sit there and put those two back together. Really? Really, after, after about two and a half years, what, what, what are we doing? But of course, you know, Carter comes into the room and, you know, she's cozying up to Carter and, um, you know, um, Carter's not there like, oh, yeah, I see that Bill wants to get back together with you. And, you know, Kay is like, does that bother you? I was like, well, yeah, it should bother him. It should and bother any man that sits there, any person that gets involved with you, it should sit there and bother. What kind of dumbass question is that? Does that bother you? Hmm. No. That does not, like, I... So, I don't notice this late night talk show host this much. I think his name is James something. But I guess it was supposed to be some sort of running joke of him walking back and forth and him just acting like a weirdo, I, I don't really understand. Like, okay, I get it. You work for the network. They did you a favor. You came on the show. Ha, 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 ha. Kind of unnecessary, but whatever. Um, you know, Hope coming in there to sit there and talk about Sheila. You know, because Deacon was meant to think about Sheila and then... Um, you know, feeling kind of guilty and stuff. So when Hope walked in there, Hope was like, oh, I know what you did. I know about what you did with Sheila. And Dick was like, what are you talking about? And he had that look on his face. And it's like, come on, this, this running joke 
just gets old. You know, the, the joke when the person comes in there and this person's sitting there thinking, oh, this person knows, and then this person says something else. It's like, we're still doing that. We're still doing that as a, as a sense of suspense. Does one person ever, and like, do you, and like, I, I don't know one person that's ever actually sat there and was like, oh my God, I think she knows. Oh, I think he knows. And they talk about something else. And it's like, come on, seriously. So, of course, you know, Hope is sitting there thinking, Deacon, and is part of taking down Sheila. And, of course, then she just goes on this long tyrant about Sheila did this and Sheila did that. And, you know, her reign of terror is over. And, you know, Deacon's like, well, you know, I actually felt kind of bad for her. And, you know, Hope is like, what are you talking about? How could you feel bad for a monster? And she just goes on and on and on and on and on. And you're just like, this is, uh, this is B&B, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, this is B&B. 35 years. <laughs> wow. Um, and that's pretty much all that scene really is. It's just this... It's just like... It doesn't really go anywhere, you know? But I guess it's setting... Here's the thing. It's setting the stage up. When Hope does find out about what Deacon did, you know. Now, what I'm shocked about, okay, what I'm shocked about, is, you know, Taylor, Taylor confronts Sheila about, you know, everything that she did, killing and almost killing Steffi and Finn and taking my daughter away and you're going to go away and people aren't going to remember you and blah, 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 blah. Kind of reminds me of that stupid conversation that Summer had with Diane because... Apparently, she doesn't have anything else to do to fill her day. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought because I was just so annoyed with Summer. Um, what the hell was I sniffing this name? So, back then, there was only a certain amount of people that knew that Taylor shot Bill in the back. Right? And that... that that was a secret. That was a long time secret. Okay. But nothing happened. There was no consequence that happened to Taylor. Right? It wasn't like one of those things where it was like, down the line, this happened. It's like, no, they kept that, that whole thing under wraps for years. Until lately. Of course, at this point, you know, she got an immunity deal, so nothing happens to her, and blah, 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 blah. But it happened years ago. I don't know how long it was, but it was damn sure before I started watching the show. So it just makes me sit there and wonder how long is it going to be before Hope actually finds out what Deacon did. You know, how long is it going to be before he find before she finds out what he did? Now I can sit there and look at that and be like, well, it may happen like I don't know. Two weeks, two months, so and so. Two months. But given the fact that it took this long before everyone found out, the cops found out, you know, every, you know, found out what Taylor did, who knows how long this is actually going to be going on for? Yep, I feel like that's pretty much about it. It's so weird doing B&B reviews. When you do some of the other reviews, because, you know, the show's an hour. I, I, I swear, I feel like this show is like 15 minutes long. 15 minutes long. I don't even feel like it's 18 minutes long. They say it's 18 minutes with 10 minutes of commercials, but, you know, in Paramount, because I don't have to commercial free. So, with that, you still get commercials. And those commercials are long. Okay, so if you take away those commercials... It just makes me wonder how long is that show? Hmm. Anyway, I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't think of anything else that happened. Um, as I always now say, didn't miss anything. On their live stream, I'll be talking about BMD, YNR, Days of Lives, General Hospital. But all four of the shows, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, as I do Monday through Friday with everyone. Size and Sundays for the members only. If you're not a member, description box below. Hit the join button. 
and that gives you exclusive live streams, exclusive videos for members only, and member shoutouts um, that I do once a month. So yes, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.